Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I just want to take a little bit of time to review a server that I usually play. The server is called Killian. Um, the, the room that you initially spawn in has all the rules, just like most basic servers. Um, flint and steel is not allowed. Bows, arrows, swords, lava buckets, uh, and any potions. These are all prison contraband and they result in jail if you're caught and don't give it up. Um, and then these are server rules. Actually, those aren't server rules. The server rules are in here. But you can take your time and read all these rules. It's actually a pretty fun server. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, you have the option to vote on mine status and uh, the other voting site. They're both on the forum. Um, but you have the chance to vote on either one of those sites and you can get up to a thousand dollars a day from doing that and access to a star pen. Um, I guess I should pretty much explain. Uh, this is C block. This is entirely PvP besides the places past the red blocks here. Um, these are the showers. They're kinda useless unless you're running from somebody. Where you're gonna wanna start is here on the left side. Um, you'll begin punching trees trying to get some wooden tools together. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that right now. People that have played this server before will usually just farm trees the entire time. And um, once you get enough wood together, you can either turn it into tools. And there's a mine here that regenerates. Obviously, it's kind of torn up right now. Uh, this is the cobble mine. It's got coal and iron and obviously cobble in it. Um, you can use that to upgrade your tools to stone tools. Now, eventually, you're going to want to come over here to the shop. Well, as I get attacked, that's cool. And this happens a lot. It's a pretty popular prison server. Here's the shop. Um, there's different wooden tools that you can buy here. Uh, just like any other server, if you type in slash rules, oops, slash help, I'm sorry, it gives you access to the different commands that you can do. Um, it actually doesn't give you access to all of them, so you can't really see what all you can do at first. Uh, there's different commands like slash clan, we have clans. Um, slash money shows your balance. Uh, right now my balance is 59,000. Now you start, and this is C block. Um, when you start in C block you're going to need 15,000 to rank up. This is where you sell your different items. You can sell one log for four, four dollars and it goes all the way up to diamond. Obviously you won't get diamond in C block. The highest you'll get is iron ingots. Um, it is definitely definitely preferred that you smelt inside the mine. Kind of cover yourself up with cobble and watch out for people's names because they will try and steal your stuff. Um, there's actually like a public furnace right across the way from the bank that I was just in. Eventually when you get up to 5k um, or I'm sorry, 1K, you'll be able to buy a small chest. You just right click this, and I've already reached my limit, but then you'll be able to click to open your chest, be chest one, and at first it'll be a small chest. This is 1K to buy this. Initially, initially you just be 1K to buy a chest, and then 1K to upgrade to a large chest, you can see here. And then you just click right click upgrade. Alright, so you can have up to 10 chests with a total cost of 20k for all of them, for the small and then the upgrade. Um, I'm actually going to grab some food real quick. Okay. Alright, I'll go ahead and show you. A lot of times they'll set up different things here. Um, this is Kung Fu training, I guess. And I'm probably going to die right here because I'm just screwing around. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is going to take me back to free spawn. Um, it takes you to the latest spawn that you've unlocked. It costs 15k to get to C block. Or from C block to B block. B block has a little less PvP zones but it also has a lot more ways of making money. Instead of just having a wood farm and a cobble farm, where you can just only get coal and iron, B block actually is a sandstone mine, and they have reeds that you can farm. Um, you can turn the reeds into sugar for money. But here, as you'll see, there's a sandstone mine. 
and the sandstone has gold and diamond in it. It's definitely worth checking this out, especially when you get B. The mine is definitely where you make your money. Um, I would say in C block, wood is faster than the mines, but there's also a dirt mine in here, and I'm not sure why anybody would spend any time in here. Um, I don't even know what's in there, honestly. But wood is definitely your best source of income because people in C block can be assholes. They'll try and dig holes out from under you. And that's actually how I got from C to B so fast. It is possible to get from C to free in like two days. Um, but it's only if you're like really lucky. But I'll just show you around here. B block. This is the shop. There's the spawn that way. The shop is in here. And obviously, like I said before, you can turn that into sugar. And you can sell that right here. You can sell stacks too. You can buy stone tools now once you're in B block. And it's the same kind of shop aspect as before. Cobble, logs, wood planks, sandstone, coal, iron ingots, gold ingots, and then clay. I believe that's what's in dirt mine. I really don't think dirt mine's worth it, and there's a lot of people that'll agree with me. Dirt, more dirt, cobble, and see, this is where you can sell stacks. Um, the money actually kind of adds up a little bit quicker once you're in B block. It's definitely worth getting all the reeds and stuff. Um, guards can only patrol A block and, I'm sorry, C block and B block. Um, once you get into A block, guards are not allowed to confiscate your sword. Um, you'll see Death Rider 20 here, he's a pretty popular guard, he's been here for a while. Um, but guards can only confiscate your sword whenever you're in C block or B block. Now, that doesn't stop people from taking swords. Um, You'll see tons of people with stone swords beating the shit out of each other in uh, C block most of the time. B block, it gets kind of bad, especially when there's people gathering raids. See if I'll gather raids, I'll probably get attacked. It's probably not worth mentioning, but in C, B, A, and I think Elite Block 2, there's all a fishing uh, kind of guild thing where you can buy a fishing rod and you can sell raw or cooked fish. And I believe the price increases with the higher block tiers. I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't correct me. Well, whatever. Anyways, sandstone mine, definitely worth it once you get to B block. Now, like C block to B block was 15k. B block to A block is 35k. I'll take you over to A block right now and show you around there. Yellow is C, green is B, A is blue and purple is elite. Now once you get into elite block there is a lot less PvP zones like before. It's a little bit safer. You see Death Rider running around here but he can't do anything. He has no power in A block. If I were to attack that guy he could not do anything. Only if I were to attack him. This is the center area. This is the only part that's PvP, but the bad thing about this is... I'm sorry, this isn't the only part that's PvP. Um, oh, I had a little bit of lag there. There is a pumpkin farm, and this used to be amazing money. Uh, people still farm them. It's still pretty good money. That's how I got a lot of my money in A block, besides slots, which I'll show you here in a little while. Um, here's the bank, the same chest system. Um, Actually, gonna pull out a little more food now. Um, right here again, you'll see there's like a public smelting system, crafting cables. There isn't really a private one until you get to uh, Elite Block. But the cool thing about A Block now is when you come into this part, here's the shops. Um, it has its own little teleport, which I don't think is working right now. No, it's not. Um, that takes you to the pumpkins. Uh, you can see there's like different teasers. There's a free spawn right here. Obviously, you're not going to be able to go straight from A to free. You have to go past Elite first. Um, but in this side of the shop, it's uh, you can sell all your singles. And then on the opposite side, you can sell, sell the stacks. Um, yes, iron tools. A block, you're allowed to buy iron tools. And you can also buy clocks for 200. Um, doesn't really do much good at this point in the game. I don't think clocks ever really do much good. Um, but it's amazing little double diamond swords here. I think that's pretty cool.
But uh, now this is right across from where we came. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, it's on the left side of where we came in. So it's just over here. Um, there's actually you can warp in there, and there's mob spawners. It's a mob farm. Uh, go in there with preferably diamond armor. I went in there a few times with just a stone sword, no armor, and I didn't do very well. But uh, here you can sell stacks of string, rotten flesh, bone, and arrows, or singles. And they're fifteen dollars a piece, nine sixty a stack. It's good money if you have good armor, for sure, for sure. Netherrack mine. This is definitely worth it. This is probably where I spend most of my time now. Um, I think it's very good, especially since they just updated it. Um, you'll see a kind of mining system that people get into once they get to higher tiers. Usually people will start the second one from the wall, right here. Uh, that way they're covering this whole entire line and that whole entire line. And they'll just skip two blocks and they'll mine all the way to the bottom. And they'll just do this all the way down. This person's cleaned out this mine, whoever did this, or a couple of people have cleaned out this mine pretty well. Um, in this mine, there's glowstone, iron, and diamond. Uh, it should also be mentioned that you should not ever AFK on the server. People will drown you or push you in to random places. <laughs> um, they'll try and push you into PvP zones if you're a non-PvP and so forth. This is a nether brick mine. Uh, there's soul sand in here. Uh, nether brick, obviously. I'm not even sure what this is. I feel dumb for not knowing that, but it'll be all right. But uh, that pretty much wraps up A block. Um, the netherrack mine is definitely worth it, uh, especially for diamonds. There's a lot more diamonds. Um, now, I used to go to sandstone mine all the time because there were more diamonds in sandstone than, were, than there were netherrack. But ever since they updated it, there's been a lot more. Um, let's go ahead and run over here. These are all plots that people have bought. There's also a downstairs area. Um, but the uh, pretty rich people, they have like different estates and stuff. You can different, you can see the different uh, areas. I think it's pretty cool. Some of the designs that people have made. I think this is pretty neat too. Anyways, on to elite block. Um, once you make it to elite block, it's actually pretty nice because this is totally non-PVP. Um, the only way you can really die here is if you're just straight up dumb or there's someone being an asshole to you in the snow mine. Um, again, you'll see like the trench mining system. Hey, and that's a little something you can do too, if you uh, don't want to die. It's actually kind of a. I probably shouldn't start telling people that, but as you're falling, if you're about to hit the ground, if you disconnect and reconnect, you have three seconds of invincibility. Um, regardless, snow mine has diamond and tons and tons of iron. Um, just be careful not to get spleefed to death because as you can see someone doesn't know how to mine trenches. Snow mine I don't really think is worth it but it is nice because um, a diamond spade reacts when you right click it restores it back to its original state for blocks that you're not supposed to be mining with it. Um, the snow blocks can be picked up it's extremely fast when you mine through them but they only sell for 32 a stack instead of the normal cobble, sandstone, netherrack Suffer 64 a stack because they're so fast to mine. In this room, you'll see the different spawns C spawn B, A, courtyard, and cafeteria. The courtyard comes to the intersection that we've passed like three times now. And the cafeteria is to totally useless. So you can check it out later if you want. I'm not going to show it in this video. Again, here's the bank. Um, Elite Blog is actually super good. Um, you have a huge shop on that end and over here you actually have personal furnaces which you did not have in the, in the previous blocks there's a pressure pad here that when you step on it locks both doors behind you um, four furnaces and a crafting table so it's really nice step off the pressure plate and both doors open and in elite block they have a pig farm you no longer have to buy your food from shops which I probably should have mentioned earlier that that's what you had to do in the first place is uh, buy your food from shops. Here's your pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns. Someone's dropped a lot of gravel. Use that for flint for arrows. But there's a huge shop here and elite block. Let me uh, just review for a minute. It's 15,000 to get from C block to B block. 35,000 to get from B to A. 
65,000 to get from A to Elite. And then it's the sky from there. 100,000 to get to free. 100,000 is a lot of money to get. I got lucky and won it on slots. Speaking of slots, let's go ahead and go to Star Pen. Now, the Star Pen, you get $1,000 per day for voting. I'm going to go in A block. Actually, let's go in B block. Get $1,000 a day for voting. And which is really nice because Star Pen takes 2000. Even in C block you can access Star Pen once you have $2000 and it's totally worth it especially in C block if you don't want to die. Um, C block is I'm sorry, Star Pen is totally 100% non PVP all blocks. Also in Star Pen you have um, what's called slot machines. They have $100 $1,000, I think they have $500, $5,000 and $10,000, they don't have $500, I'm pretty sure they don't. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, but let's go ahead and warp straight down, I'll show you how those work. Let's see. They also have Donator, um, you could go to their site, which is bit.ly slash Killian, and you can donate there, and you can get Donator access in the Donator mine. Um, the donator mine has mine uh, has logs, diamonds, iron. I'm not really sure. I've never been a donator, um, but they'll they'll have all that information on their site if you want to go check that out. I'll leave that in the description. Um, here's a guy playing slot machines right now. Um, all you have to do is right click, and it'll tell you all the different um, instructions. Get three in a row in order to win, 1,000 per spin, and the different rewards will be higher for the different kind of uh, slot machine that you play on. Um, three iron blocks is 2,500, three gold, 5,000, three diamond, 12,000, three obsidian, 40,000. Three obsidian is almost impossible to get, um, but I was playing 5,000 slots and I ended up getting three diamond blocks in a row, three times in a row, for $120,000, and I pretty much didn't do any work from B to free. Uh, I, I was an A, and right as soon as I got into A I started playing slots and I ended up winning big so I got kinda lucky and ended up, ended up in free which I will not show you I'm gonna let that be a surprise if you're interested in the server go ahead and check it out um, a link to the forum page should be on the website if it isn't just look us, look us up on the minecraft forums we're usually one of the top posts in the survival servers let's go ahead and play some slots though Sweet. Well, that's nice. Perfect. I think that's a good ending to the video. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoy. See you next time.